So I've got pre and post sugar tax iron brew. So let's see, after the changes, what has happened to iron brew? Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK. My name's MJ and this is a versus edition because we are battling pre-sugar tax iron brew against post sugar tax iron brew so what have we got here this is the pre-tax iron brew i bought it a couple of months ago in case you're wondering sort of how i got hold of it i, I just bought it in the past so the i'm not sure how well that's focusing this is 38 percent of your recommended daily allowance of sugar 34 grams of sugar this one the post sugar tax is 17 percent of your recommended daily allowance with 16 grams of sugar so the sugar has more than halved mental I'll also get a um, shot of the actual information on the back so that you can compare them pre sugar tax post sugar tax in terms of the can it looks exactly the same and these are both price marked cans so pre sugar tax on my left your right and post sugar tax on my right your left pre and post pre and post I'm gonna pour a little bit out <laughs> hashtag pre flavor and post <laughs> hashtag preview flavor right and I appreciate I haven't poured out quite as much um they look about the same don't they the post looks a bit more bubbly, but that could be the age. Who knows? Although I prefer drinking out of the can, so I'm just going to do it out of the can. This is pre-sugar tax iron brew. I've had this before. Such a weird drink. Rich, one of the fellow presenters, does not like iron brew. In fact, he only tried it for the first time recently. This is what he thought. Ugh. That's absolutely fucking rank. I like iron brew. It's a really weird drink. It's sort of bitter, but also sweet. Um, it's like a it's like a bubble gummy texture, like an Anglo bubbly. It's like the best way to describe it. But also, it's unique. It is its own thing. Never had anything like it. Right. So that is Iron Brew. I'd almost say that that even doesn't taste as sweet as it normally does. I don't know if this has had the sugar reduced before. Anyway, yeah, it's nice. It's good. Uh, in terms of rating, I, I probably would give it five stars. Partly because it is just such an iconic drink, though. Like, it's, it's just deep-seated in my psyche. I don't know, I'm getting a bit too pretentious now, I know. Right, post-sugar tax, this is the reduced sugar variety. When I say reduced sugar, I mean it just, the new recipe has less sugar in. You can, of course, get the extra iron brew extra which is i think zero sugar and extra taste something like that i did do a a uh, video on it hmm interesting i mean i don't like that the the can smells of the shop that i bought it from it's slightly ruining the experience it's a nice shop it's not a dirty shop or anything it's like a little ghetto news agent but it has this really distinct smell a bit like a like a perfume the main thing i'm noticing to be honest is the carbonation the uh, newer one's a bit frothier, but like I say, that could just do to be, be to do with the age. This is a couple months old now. I'm going to go back to the pre. Right. It's definitely lost a bit of its body, a bit of the rounded sweetness. It's a bit like um, it's a bit like when you go from having a UK soft drink or soda to a US soft drink or soda, and they taste a lot more syrupy, a lot more rounded body. So pre, it's good has got good sweetness post okay guys here's something interesting all right this this might fascinate you one thing i'll say is we did a podcast recently with harry from where's my challenge or formerly dude where's my challenge and he said that they ruined iron brew because uh, they've taken the sugar out and he doesn't like it anymore but he used to love it interestingly different strokes for different folks i actually prefer <coughs> the post sugar tax. I think it tastes more like iron brew and I actually prefer the sweetness. I think it's a bit more refreshing. I think it, it has a nicer sweet sweet taste. 
I think this is a bit more bitter and I think this tastes stronger of Iron Brew. Fascinating. Yeah, so the new one's five stars as well. In fact, the new one makes me want to give the new one five stars and the old one four stars when I drink them side by side. Yeah, uh, not the result I was expecting, guys. I actually prefer the post-sugar tax variety. So, interesting. I'd be really interested to hear what you thought about this. If you are a die-hard Iron Brew fan, i.e. if you're Scottish, Oh my god, my tongue has gone orange. If you are, let us know in the comments below what you think of this. Do you think I'm wrong? Harry thinks I'm wrong, obviously. So what do you think? Thank you again for watching, guys. This has been Food Review UK Versus. I hope you enjoyed it. Consume the information from within. Follow us on social media. We've got all the kind of ones. We've also got a comedy channel, Michael Jameson Comedy. It's really funny. Here's a recent video. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Mowgli is an absolute dick. Why? Well, does he pay tax? <laughs> yes, that was hilarious. Ha ha ha, that's why you should subscribe. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>